Selling your products and services on the internet is more competitive than ever. Every marketplace is oversaturated and your potential customers are bombarded with ads from your competitors. Why should they choose you? In this video, I'll share one marketing framework that will help you position yourself on the market differently so you can sell anything very ethically. The idea of selling anything to anyone is really bad and just let me explain. The way marketing works right now, businesses run ads on TV, social media or pretty much everywhere. Most of the ads feel dishonest. For example, if you see a commercial for McDonald's, the burgers will look great in the commercials. But when you go to the actual McDonald's location, the burgers will look very different from what you've seen in the commercial. Would you say this advertisement is tricking the customers into buying a product that looks completely different? This happens in every single industry. What happens when you order a product or buy something and the product or service don't match your expectation? You tend to trust the company less. And if you had the option to choose another competitor in the future, you probably would do it. Obviously, this model has worked for many, many decades and it will surely work in the future. But if you wanna stand out, you should do things differently. And here I'm going to give you two examples. I run Facebook ads and YouTube ads for clients. We mainly sell online courses and coaching programs. In a very recent campaign I did for a client, we launched an online course that was not very cheap. The price was around $1,000. Usually the audience was used to buying low price products. Many people started saying that the course was way too expensive when we announced the price. All of our Facebook ads were full of comments from people saying that they wanted to join, but this online course was just way too expensive. Many people gave the reason that it's the recession right now and simply they cannot afford it. And the client I work with and her team, we all knew that those people had their reasons to complain. So instead of hiding the flaws, we decided to address them and made some promotional materials telling people that we know that times are difficult for them. Still, we also explained why the price is higher. We told them why it costs $1,000 and many people found that approach reasonable and decided to join. The promotional materials that addressed the price issues contributed to 30% of the sales. Many people who would never buy bought and there is a great book about it. It's called The Language of Trust by Michael Maslensky. The book is for anyone who sells ideas, products, services, or even themselves to a market that doesn't want to buy or even hear about it. This is an example I got from the book. In 2006, Tylenol launched a very unconventional marketing campaign. The vice president of sales for Tylenol, Brenda Bress, said, some people think if you have a bad headache, you should take extra medicine. The problem is that's not going to get rid of your headache faster and taking too much of any medication, no matter how safe, can cause serious problems. Your health is important to us. So if you're not going to take the recommended dose of our medicine, I'd rather you just didn't take it. And if that means selling less Tylenol, that's fine with me. Many marketing professionals and sales experts would think that this marketing campaign is madness. But if you really think about it, it's brilliant. Tylenol says their potential customers shouldn't take extra medicine if they have a bad headache. Tylenol also says that the health of their future customers is important. According to the book, this message didn't hurt sales. And this is the pharmaceutical industry. Those companies spend billions on ads. The market is extremely competitive. Most Tylenol competitors scream, buy our pills, but Tylenol says, if you buy our pill, use it reasonably to stay healthy. It sounds different and in a way builds trust. And trust is very important, especially when you have to buy a pill. I already gave you a few examples of campaigns that are unusual and still make sales and still sound different. The main difference between the old way of marketing is that the ads or marketing materials focus on selling the product no matter what. They scream, buy, buy, buy our product. The new way of marketing focuses on building trust 
instead of selling the product at any cost. So if you want to use this marketing approach, I'll give you a three-step marketing framework. The first thing you need to do is to be honest. If you make bold claims, you overpromise. Sooner or later, your customers will find out. Today, people have access to much more information than they used to before. They can go on the internet and simply research your product. If you're lying about something, there are channels, blogs and podcasts dedicated to exposing scam products. And this will be my very first advice. Be honest. The second thing you can do is address your flaws. Nothing is perfect in the world. Every product, every company and even every person has flaws. You can talk freely about your flaws and explain why this is the way it is. It recently happened to me. I go to the same Wi-Fi coffee place pretty much every day. I go there because of the fast internet connection and the coffee is also quite good. If there wasn't the good Wi-Fi, I would probably go somewhere else. A few weeks ago, I went to the same Wi-Fi coffee shop and at the door, the owner greeted me and he said that he was really, really sorry, but there was a problem with the Wi-Fi. He said, if I'm here just for the Wi-Fi, it's not working and he advised me to consider going to another place. I appreciated the honesty and the owner addressing the flaws. I decided to stay and instead use my smartphone as a hotspot. Gestures like this build trust because it says we're not money hungry. We won't try to sell you stuff at any cost. And this builds trust. The third thing you can do is talk to the haters. In many cases, you know about some of the flaws of your products, but there might be some things that you're missing and those things might be relevant to your marketing campaign. The best way to figure it out would be to talk to the haters. Let's say somebody hates you in the comments of every Facebook ad you run. You can message that person and ask him what he or she does not like about your ads. You can say, hey, I see that you're dissatisfied with this product. Honestly, I see your point. Is there anything we could do differently? Is there anything you don't like? Is there anything you would like to change? Most people will hate on you even more, but some will give you very reasonable feedback. Based on the feedback, you can create an honest marketing campaign that addresses the flaws in a cool way. And this is the framework. And here is the summary of my three-step framework for selling anything. Number one, be honest. Number two, address the flaws in your ad. And number three, talk to the haters. My name is Nico. Make sure you check the links in the description below. Here we talk about business and marketing. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.